Hey guys, welcome back. Now your OnePlus 5 is running the official Android Oreo 8.0. So this is Oxygen OS version 5.0 update and we are going to see all the things like you know how to install it, what are the new features, changes and came and along with that how does it looks like and compare to against the original Pixel 2 XL because this is running the original stock Android Oreo as of now. So in case you really wanted to know how much different it is there you know in terms of UI look and feel how the oneplus is doing or uh, changing their oneplus ram so guys let's just start and see so number one thing is uh, about the installation so since this is uh, incremental ota you should be getting update very much soon within this week in case you didn't got that so the number one step is that you have to uh, download an application called as opera vpn so uh, i have the link in the description and make sure you have to connect to the germany or the Canada reason because still it is not guaranteed but most likely chances are that you will be getting update in case you stall by selecting that update once you select that update uh, this Germany location you have to go back to the system updates and there you have to check for update you should be seeing notification very soon so once you complete download the update you just have to disconnect the VPN like that and uh, you have to just click on the installation it will simply stall and we'll go to reboot and download size should be near to 1.5 gigabytes since this is complete new OS so you should be having some good amount of data to download and the third step is that in case you uh, wanted to install it very quickly like you don't want to wait for the VPN because sometimes VPNs are slow so download the complete ROM the link in the description and again came to the same place the system update and see that gear icon click on this gear icon and there you have to select the local update so already uh, I installed using local upgrade. You can see I have the OT downloaded 1.5 gigabytes. You can select it and you can install it. Now next is uh, in case you are on the open beta, uh, like the latest open beta, OnePlus 5 is second, open beta 2 for the audio. And most likely all the features in the open beta 2 are same in this uh, 5.0 update. So pretty much everything is same. So be sure to check out the old video for all the, you know, features and things. Now once you select this thing here, you can easily convert move from open beta to the official uh, 5.0 version so this is about the installation now some stability i installed it yesterday night so far i did not find, found any issues like the battery is okay i just caught one percent drain in overall night so nothing seems to like issues okay and but uh, one thing i really don't like like companies not making the stock android in the way the it is looked like because uh, android oreo brings a redesign uh, ui everything else so everything is is still looking like Android Nougat. I'll show you a comparison with the OnePlus 5T which is as of running Android Nougat. So guys, let's go start and see all the features of that. So you can see still few applications are crashing. Okay guys, so let's start with the comparison. So if you're curious to know how the stock Android looks like and what the company is offering. So this is the Nougat version of the OnePlus 5T or you on the OnePlus 5 and we got the Pixel 2 XL. So. Uh, you know a company should give all the features that's what I believe Android Audio does bring complete new layout of the settings which I like it a lot because at least by looking here I'm seeing that I got new feature everything looks so different I try to get inside I try to find out where it is what thing but here on the audio one on the OnePlus 5 I feel like I'm using nougat when I know everything yeah now it's simple it's okay but you know why not give the what you have then most of the manufacturers like Nokia you know they started giving the complete stock one and OnePlus should give those things uh, because here yeah, I used to say that like OnePlus Oxygen is very great, it's still great but in terms of look and feel I think so I'm using the old Nougat, I just got the new feature if I don't use any new feature of the audio it looks like I'm still using Nougat when I didn't got the audio update, that's what I feel guys, anyway guys and I'm just following the straight complete change log, the first one is updated to the Android Oreo 8.0, that's how your OnePlus 5 should look like and I don't you know all the shortcuts are gone what I have in my device whatever I install that, I don't know why it is so that's your settings one about phone section Got updated 8 GB RAM variant 5.0 version of Oxygen OS. So that's your thing. That anyway, guys, here it is main thing starting. Now you got some optimization for the shelves. Not too much. Everything is just a little bit compacted. That's why I can see that everything is exactly same. And you know, icons are slightly smaller. You got a uh, little space between the two complete tabs and section. Now you got the new short and OnePlus feature. So if you take any photos, you know, right here, for example, you can see this is my Erica Palm taking the portrait mode. So on the share menu, you can see there's a short and OnePlus. So you can create your account using Google login or Facebook or with your email. So try to upload good photos here. Who knows, you know, you may get some reward someday if your photos become so popular. Or you can set someone else for, you know, wallpaper and lock screen with your photos if uh, if they like it. So nice way you can go inside this launcher using short on OnePlus menu. So these are original OnePlus photos which are taken by any devices. But you know, on the details you can exactly see that taken with 5, 5 So you can also get to know the camera quality, how the how phone can took, uh, took a good low light or daylight photos. So. Next is the new camera UI, 
so basically from the last two open beta builds they're just trying to you know make exactly the same what you had oneplus 5t and here is guys a quick camera comparison see this is oneplus 5t gunmetal in color you guys know that and oneplus 5t shows me like it is oneplus 3 in the silver color no, and the oneplus uh, 5 shows me the true gunmetal color that's what i feel here maybe you guys can confirm me and but the black one it comes natural real on the oneplus 5t anyway it got two cameras so it just switches between here and there maybe who knows that 20 megapixel is doing some better job doing something else you know this pixel sampling merging something creating something else but both looks okay but what i saw 5 shows me original color next is optimization for the this photo quality so take some couple of photos and try to do max zoom and here you can see and i can see uh, the zoom in photos are more on the oneplus 5t compare that here this is the max zoom so probably uh, in the indoor oneplus 5t switching to 20 megapixel that's why i got a lot of resolution extra bit here next is you got some beauty effect for the portrait mode so this is the same feature using the rear camera you can do some beautification but still guys it is sad we still did not got the portrait selfies which i love on my pixel to excel you guys have seen a lot of photos posting on twitter and instagram that's a new ui settings design things are there and once you click that you don't need to use third party filters now exactly you can create beautiful selfies here too with the rear camera next is yeah, if you take any photos go to properties if you have enabled the camera location setting like you know i use camera location you can see where this photo has been taken using the same location data on the gallery there's a new tab now called places so it will show you exactly on what location how many photos you have taken if you you know travel a lot definitely you can create uh, memories or any kind of map like where you've taken how much how many photos are being taken there kind of good way to you know use any kind of data whatever is available call it as a metadata nice thing to see that thing i just reset my device to 320 photos on the same my home next is you got some History option in the calculator. So even though if you do, you know, buttons using clear option, CLS, delete, still your calculator will not remember all data and everything is not working as exactly you can see. The button is not working. You need to swipe from up where. So it should remember just all the old data. I don't know how long it will remember, but it just remember all things. And you can manually clear all the data from here. That's how you can clear all the stuff. Next is guys, we got some alarm calendar. So, you know, when you try to set any RAM, you can set any of the day on the week, you know, Monday to Sunday, you can do that thing. But now uh, you can use the same time and can set up to your calendar support. So you can see it shows complete month data. So you can enable disable alarms from here. For example, you are waking up uh, daily, you know, 5 a.m. So you can see uh, set up to, uh, you know, I said how much, uh, I don't know how long days it will support. But you can just set from many, many months and years like in that day you want to woke up that time. It's a very nice way, kind of robotic way exactly remember for 10 years schedule you can set it from here nice thing at least you know something innovative companies done good job oneplus next is a parallel application you know it is already old but uh, one thing i don't like it just support few set of application because as you can see on the miui 9 i shown you earlier it supports almost all the apps and games and application but here it just limited a few set of application but still you can use it next is we got some redesign of the quick settings here which is nice and now it supports a six quick tile uh, which is also based on 700 feature but also you got some new set of uh, icons too for example this mobile data compare it next to the wi-fi now it shows the thing here it is just one touch to enable disable not like you have to expand and disable it good way to do that next is the lift up display and this is one of the beautiful lock screen display if you get any of the android device after the galaxy s8 always on display so looks cool oneplus 3 also got the same feature and oneplus 5t has this feature from the launch so it's kind of marketing you're getting some extra feature earlier so that's how if you just lift your phone up that's how you got the new lock screen display looks cool lift up display feature and next we got some adaptive mode and in the chain log you will see it is a model i just told you here so i personally use the default one always i just don't try to play a lot with them anyways this is similar like apple's two tone display which adapts based on the lighting condition which is there on the hardware base now here it is based on the software base and i don't know how much it works but once you enable that your phone will be kind of washed out looks like you're not using any amulet panel or something like you know your panel got damaged disturbed no i, I prefer to use stuck with the default anyway you can play around with that looks cool it will save your eyes from a lot of strains and next we got a couple of changes for the battery and wi-fi you should be seeing a good battery improvement so so far i see it is good i don't have found kind of huge battery range wi-fi also working smoothly no issues at all and the last you got the december uh, security patch level which is again like same as what you have in the pixel but it is december 5 here december 1 very nice compared to oneplus 5t you are still running the old one october two months behind oneplus uh, do something else 5t is getting slow now anyways 
and here it is some unknown change I told you uh, you got uh, now you can disable this haptic feedback that is vibration once you try to unlock and lock you can disable it so if you're using silent mode or do not disturb mode but you can still enable that just go to the setting and search for the vibration but you can disable that finally guys the oneplus 5 Face unlock feature, yes, it is coming, but not on 3 in 3D, but coming on the OnePlus 5. So, Kalpai on the Twitter officially confirmed that based on so many demands, it is going to come for the OnePlus 5, but not on 3 in 3D. But still, uh, you know, if you want to get that feature with some application, I have made one video earlier. So, check all videos or description, you will get the same video, how same feature, how to get that feature. Now, these are Android audio based exclusive features, I'm just showing you. Picture in picture mode, so search for the pic in this setting and go to picture in picture mode. Support application will be shown here. I'm just showing you with the YouTube. YouTube Red is only supported in India. You cannot use the YouTube picture in picture mode. But if you want to play videos using PIP mode, you have to use Google Chrome and make sure open your favorite video in the desktop mode. Otherwise, it won't work. And just when you start playing your video, try to play in the full screen mode. That is more important. Once you see there is an option like you can. Uh, there it is this is your button once you play in the play full screen mode just use your home button you can see now you got your video playing in this one you can do you can do any job you can watch my videos and you can chat whatever you can say that I'm just saying so this thing works pretty nice and uh, that's how you can adjust in here and there looks cool nice feature and next guys we have is the autofill service so every company offers does the same thing like watch my old video Samsung does offer their own but try to use the Google one and how to enable that feature in case you know not able to see that so there is already a detailed video made check the description the link is there and uh, for example I'm just showing you in the Instagram Instagram already I have uh, used this feature earlier in this device so if I go to add a new account here I don't need to type anything else I just click here it will show me the possible things that I use so since I have used two things showing me you know my uh, two usernames password I can just click here I don't need to just remember anything else Google is doing the same job for me it's a good way uh, to use the same thing next we have the smart text selection so in summary Google will try to analyze the text that you have typed for example if it is phone number it will show you a respective application it is a phone if it is if you have typed any map application it will show you map if you have typed any URL it will open Chrome so you guys can get an idea that's how it goes nice thing actually audio does bring this cool feature so try to use those feature effectively it's a very great thing now let's last check for the benchmark comparison so this is the open beta 2 uh, numbers I've shown you just for the sake of reference 23k I'm not just bothering about the last three digits so let it run and open the geek benchmark so take, taking a look on the history so that's your uh, old 6.7k I'm just taking not beyond on that I'm going further back let's try to run it so let it run behind now take a look on the android nougat version so follow this watch my video 335 5t speed test so 5 is just next to the you know 5t and uh, by the time it is running starting the geek benchmark for the old one nougat one i'm just showing you the old video snippet i'm just not running right now so you got the uh fun plus 5t is the fastest among them very very nice thing 6.7k still nougat is same the performance so both are kind of okay and how about the nougat n score so you should be getting uh, no no if i rain it again i may get different result but take it as a 180 average good score coming back to our audio one so this is 5.0 n benchmark about to come and i'm hoping we should be getting uh, like the similar way 182 183k and uh, here it is completed 183k 135 so good score same way when it's, it's, this is one of the faster devices you can get right now on the android world and how about the geek benchmark it is about the complete 100 percent and 6.7k uh, should be there so yeah we got about the same performance so performance wise you know even though there is improvement i cannot feel that because this is so fast device but still guys audio is good try to use all the features that i've shown you earlier looks very great and you guys that's been it for the oneplus 5 oxygen update and uh, regarding the accessories i get a lot of comments so be sure to check the description too uh, everything i have written there what i have using screen protector cases everything else and all the cool stuff and anyway, guys in case you own 3 3 5 5d you're going to get a lot of cool tips and tricks in this channel once again guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy it and this is Saurabh i'll talk to you very soon have a great day